Hi, good morning. Here is the question from the static equilibrium lab that uh, many people found difficult, try to understand. A meter stick is pivoted at the 50 centimeter mark, but does not balance because of non-uniformities in its material. Uh, which means its uh, center of gravity is not at the geometrical center which is 50 centimeters. So although it's pivoted at the 50 centimeter mark, it's not going to balance because that's not where its center of gravity is. And then weights of 150 gram and 200 gram are placed at the 10 centimeter mark and the 75 centimeter mark respectively, and then balance is obtained. If the weights are interchanged, balance may again be obtained by shifting the pivot point to the 43 centimeter mark. You got to find the mass of the stick and the location of its center of gravity. Now, as you see on the diagram, you have the 150 grams and the 200 grams. The 200 gram is on the right side, the 150 gram is on the left side. So that's the 150. That is the 200 gram. The pivot is at 50 centimeter, and the masses are at 10 and 75. In the second scenario, you have the mass is interchanged, so the 200 gram is now on the left side and the 150 gram is on the right side. And the pivot is now at 43 centimeter. The 200 gram is at 10, the 150 is at 75. Let me just make that a little bit neater to look at. Okay, and the red arrows show the actual center of gravity. Now, how do I know that it's on the right side? See, if you look at the torque due to the 150 gram at the pivot, you see that, uh, just keeping it in grams, it's going to be 150 times 40 centimeters, which is 6,000. And on the right side, you have 200 times 25, which is 5,000. So on the left side, uh, I have a counterclockwise torque of 6,000. On the right side, I have a clockwise of only 5,000, which means the center of gravity has to be on the right side of the pivot so that it creates an extra 1,000. So 1,000 plus 5,000 due to this become 6,000 and it's balanced. So that is how I know that the center of gravity is on, on to the right side of the 50 centimeter mark. Is that clear now? And therefore in the second diagram, uh, it's still at the point, the center of gravity is a fixed point, it doesn't change, so it is exactly where it was in the previous figure. But the distance is small here, the distance is greater here because, of course, the pivot has been shifted to 43 from 50. Okay, now we got to set up two equations because now we know that it's balanced. Uh, we can set up the two equations. That is x centimeters, so 150 times uh, 50 minus 10, which is the distance, should be equal to the mass of the meter stick, which is m grams, times x minus 50. That is the first clockwise torque. And the second one is going to be 200 times 75 minus 50. That should be pretty obvious now. OK, so on the left side, you have 6,000. The right side, we do not know the mass, and we do not know x. So it stays that way, plus 5,000. That's 200 times 25. Rearrange 
6,000 minus 5,000, you have that on one side, and you have m times x minus 50 on the other side. So that is equation 1. Now looking at the second diagram, the clockwise is 150 times 75 minus 43 because we are taking the torque about 43, okay, about the pivot, plus the mass of the meter stick here times x minus 43. Now, just remember that x is greater than 43, so we do not want negative numbers. That's why we take x minus 43. And on the left-hand side, you have 200 times, again, 43 minus 10. It's 43 minus 10, okay. So the left side you get 4800 plus uh, you have the mass times x minus 43 and on the right side this happens to be 6600. So m times x minus 43 is equal to 6 to 600, take away 4,800, which is 1,800. So now I have two equations, equation 1 there and equation 2. You have two equations with two unknowns, and you can solve these simultaneous equations any way you like, but I'm going to divide 1 by 2. Uh, the advantage of that is the masses will get cancelled when I divide. That's dividing the left-hand side now. And on the right side, it will be 1,000 divided by 1,800. Now, when I divide 1,000 by 1,800, I get uh, 0 0.55. 5 and 5 again, long list of 5s anyway. So now what I do is cross multiply. x minus 50 is equal to that long string of fives multiplied by x minus 43. Okay, distribute that. Hmm, no space, so I'm trying to adjust. Okay, so x minus 50 is equal to that times x minus when I multiply the 0 0.5555 with 43, you get 23.88. Okay, so collect the x's uh, carefully and divide. You get 58.76 centimeter. And then substitute the value of x into equation 1. We got x as 58.76. So substitute that and you you get the mass of the meter stick as 114.2 gram. Okay, so I hope you understood this. Now you do one thing, I'm trying to keep all this on one slide so you can see the diagrams and all that. And if you have any comments as to how to improve the videos from the student's point of view, go ahead and send it to me and I will surely consider it. And uh, go ahead and like it or dislike it, uh, just let me know how I can make this better so that the whole world enjoys physics, which is a great subject. Thank you.